mag-guess, no? Kasi yeah, yeah. this is already then these are why this this is the reason why we have professional coaches at kung bakit hindi tayo professional coach. Napakalupit ng mga coaches <laughs> ng ating Seabol 2022 yeah, teams yeah. and we just have to wait and Here. see kung ano ba talagang choices nila. The Lilia will be the matchup against that Kagura. Yep. Lilia pick up. Um, any other pick would have a really difficult time. Mahirap mag-eave dito. Mahirap mag-fire sa dito. So they pick up the Lilia. Uh, considering looking at the lineup of next play Evos, they have a lot of burst. At least merong black shoes yung Lilia para ma-reset yung damage na yun. Force out ultimate. And that could be... Uh, a very big thing para sa RNG Philippines. Great drafting from both sides. Uh, the Lilia pickup answers what they needed. Kailangan nila ng burst magic damage. This Grok and this Glue will be rocking support emblems. Baka Avarice, as we've seen, Glue XP laners, tas yung pull yourself together para sa Grok. So they won't have the same tankiness as having a tank emblem, but once they have their items built up, ba ma manenegate nila onte yung damage output ng RNG but not so much so again what a draft by both sides Lilia yeah. was a great first pick a last pick by RSG and this is a crucial game three dahil kung sino mananalo dito ay mapupunta na sa match point na talaga nakakapagbigay ng pressure sa kung sino man yung hindi mananalo this game number three kung na nating patagalin pa pasok na tayo sa land of dawn for game three between RSG and next play Evos with both teams securing a victory already. Now, I don't know if I'm going to die today. Hello, it's me. I don't know if I'm going to die. 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 In terms of playstyle and ano yung role nila para sa team, hindi sa pagroma pero in terms of like setting up, uh, alam nila yung team yung dalaw yung teams nila matas ng dependency sa kanila para makikot sila sa mapa, para makagalaw, para makahanap ng opportunity to get a kill or a team fight win. So kaya lagi sila yung dalawa na yung nakita natin magkalapit. And light, no? Uh, talagang ginugulo si H2. So, tinawag niya ni H2. Kadenza, halika nga dito. Uh, si light, kanina pa ako ginugulo. And now, um, binabantayan na ni Kadenza. Minimirror na niya si light in his rotation. And usually, no? Kung hindi mirror ang sagot ng mga tanks sa isa't isa, naghihiwalay talaga sila. Yung isa gumagawa ng crossback play. Sa Apple P siya. Yelly Hayes, very low on HP. Pero alam naman natin, atapang at tao to. Demon Kite, nagaanap ata ng play with a shadow kill! First blood for RSG Philippines. Actually, we we weren't able to see the kill, but what happened was, Demon Kite, dumaan siya sa purple buff area ng next play Evos, nakapag shadow clone siya. And of course, the shadow clone reached right beside uh, Yelly Haze, yung Kagura, and Demon Kite was just able to finish the job. And yun talaga ang kailangan mong isipin kapag level 4 na ang isang Hayabusa. Kung magre-recall ka, siguraduhin mong walang biglang dadating. The RSG Philippines, because of that kill, they're going to have a positional advantage. Or in, in fact, 50-50 uh, nga ang control over this turtle area. H2O though, going back to his purple, which means RSG, they have control over this turtle. Yeah. And also, next play Evos, they understand na nahirapan si Yelly Hayes sa mid lane dahil nga si Aqua on that Lilia will be a match up difficulty for Akagura. And good attempt by Oreshi na ma-disrupt pero wala siyang red tree. It is gonna be Demon Kite who gets the turtle uh, without a problem. And now Demon Kite will be invading the red side, uh, the uh, orange side jungle of RSG, of next play Evos rather, makakanakaw siya ng konti. And ganun din naman ang ginagawa ng H2. So, a lot of vertical jungling na nakikita natin from both uh, junglers. Talagang nag-aagawan sila kung meron sila makita. And now, I think a good amount of who will win the objective fights is sino ba makakalamang sa isa't isa sa mid lane. Aqua and Haze have such important roles in the team fights that Mabilis din naman sila parehas mag-wave clear Pero pag nagbabato ng payong isang Kagura Yun yung most vulnerable yung Kagura Pero at the same time 
if Aqua isn't careful, baka yung payong na yun, may yun yung overturn siya. Oh, Shadow Kill with a quad shadow! Pero nasa low ni Yen Hayes ng konti, munti ka na si Cadenza doon. No, good catch by Yelly Hayes na na-split yung damage ng Shadow Kill sa kanya. That could have been a um, crucial kill, no? Snowball na sana si Demon Kite if he did get a kill there. But uh -oh. what's surprising right now is next play Evos, they can't seem to find an opportunity considering na alam naman natin Saber, one of the best early game assassins. Yeah. And one Saber triple sweep, sweep ultimate ang magiging game changer para sa next play Evos. Si H2 naman na, na kakapag farm na maayos, undisrupted, no deaths yet. So, again, triple sweep can still change the game para sa NXT. And they're stealing away some camps from RSG Philippines. This could be a massive rotation towards Mr. Manao Giriyaknu. They're gonna go for the attack first. At mukhang papagsak na ang Lolita with the turtle control going to the hands of next play Evo Aqua. Looking for a possible play here. Here's the pick up from H2O. RSG Philippines, for some reason, despite losing out, they control pa rin sila sa Turtle. Yeah, good block by Cadenza using the Guardian's Barrier. Kasi kung nakaabot yun sa Demon Kite, hindi magre-reset yung Turtle. Pero dahil na-block ni Cadenza yung daan ng Turtle, he had to get out of the range, so na-reset siya. And for NXP, nag-back out sila kasi tatlong ultimate na expense nila para sa pag-take down ni Light. So they know RFG Philippines for the stolen it! Triple sweep combo once again from H2O. Bagsak na naman si Light and RSG Philippines. That is the second time na nahuli muli ang kanilang position 5. This is deja vu for Light ng game 1. Next play, Evos are showing what's up. Light given a lot of different attacks from Next Play Evo. Pero yung Turtle ay napunta pa rin sa side ng RSG Again, dahil na kailangan mag-expend ng ultimate sa next play Evos to get those pick-offs right away. Without the triple sweep, without the wild charge, kahit na 3 versus 1, with that Hayabusa there, you're running the risk of the turtle getting stolen. So, buti lang next play Evos also understand that, that even though naka-pick-off sila, hindi nila pinaforce yung turtle na yun kasi mas delikado pa yun if they're gonna do that without their ultimates. And now, next play, Evos, they are behind by 1k gold against RSG Philippines despite lamang sa kills. This is uh, mostly because of third shielding na nasimot ata ng RSG Philippines. Let's see on how next play, Evos could try to actually capitalize from the power spike that they have. Ito na nga. Light. Nako, mag-iingat-iingat ka. Nakaangat. <laughs> <laughs> yung mga ano, yung, yung caster vision natin na ano, na ano tayo para sa mga players ang daming miyembro ng NXT Evos doon. Ay, na naman, pero sabi, wag naman si Light, yung isa naman, si Iyakno ang bumagsak. And Donut, looking for some damage here on Demon Kite, pero sadly, the Shadow Kill was already used up, hindi namatay si Donut. May nagdidilarski move sa gitna, may dumerman ka. Nakita ako si Kenji. Uh, Pero wait na nga, ako oh, at very low HP. Hindi na ata nakapag-black shoes. Wala nga atang black shoes nung time na yun. I'm checking right now. Men, pinasabog ng next play Evos. Uh, actually, ginamit niya ako yung black shoes niya. Bo na naibalik siya sa tabi ni H2, which was just easy burst for him. And right now, next play Evos, changing up their target priorities. Kanina, na-pick off nila si Iyaknu. Great decision to triple sweep onto the Brody. At ngayon, si Oresh, ang ganda yung pag-disrupt niya kay, ano, kay Demon Kite. Na-force out na nga yung, ano, yung Shadow, Shadow Kill. Kill. And even take him back with the Quad Shadow. Oh, oh, Demon Kite oh. severely low on HP. My God, Oresh with the play. Solo killing the jungler. And ladies and gentlemen, nakita nyo kung bakit naging priority pick bigla si Blue. Blue Team has slain the turtle. My goodness, Womi. That single-handedly gave, destroyed the purple buff for RSG Philippines and gave a turtle to next play Evos, Oreshi, which they call a silent killer for next play Evos. Not so silent in that play. Napaka-flashy nun. Oo. And wow, just like that, dahil sa mga multiple pickoffs na kuha nila sa mapa, next play Evos are still in this, still even actually, one to one in the towers. 
Not a massive gold lead for either side. So still a close game. But now RC Philippines. Um kung saan man magpo position sila like, kailangan din nila mag ano, may malapit. Well not too close, but just in case na H2 decides to use the triple sweep that they can On stop it. Just like this. Cadenza looking for something toward the part memory. The gamit agad na maaga. Ako kong babag sa first and react with the triple sweep. Oh my oh, god. Next play Evo. Take him down. No way to play. minute. Oh my god. RSG. Aqua. With a turn and out play. Miracle play for Aqua. 3 for 1 ang naging trade with that rotation. Blue team turret has been Red destroyed. Team the Lilia burst damage. Light, na ta na itama din niya yung Numenon Blast. Again, next play Evos, hard focus kay Iyaknu, na takedown nila si Iyaknu, but Blue that Lilia just exploded. Next play Evos. My God, that, that is unexpected. But Aqua is known for miracle plays like that, for clutch plays for RSG Philippines. That was almost a perfect dive from next play Evos, pero yung Lilia men, talagang napakasakit. And now, RSG Philippines is suddenly turning the tides of battle. Sila naman ang magpo-push dito sa bot side. Uh, Aqua really watching his positioning. Hindi siya dumikit dun kay Iaknu. Yes, Iaknu was picked off. But then, again, it's same for both sides. So, next play Evos. Kung yung Lilia naman yung ita-target nila, well, may purify siya. May black shoes siya. So, it's really hard for next play Evos to just pick off this Lilia. So, of course, rightfully so, they made the right decision na i-pick off dun sa Iaknu, but they just were not ready sa burst damage at na crowd control din nila si Light. Kenji was also there. He was able to survive through it. Uh, malit lang yung damage na nilalabas ng Uranus, but it's still damage at the end of the day. Another concealed play here from Cadenza. Pero wala silang mahanap this time around. Next play, Evos. They are behind by almost a 1k gold here for RSG Philippines. And sobrang close game na ating game number 3. Ramdam ko na ang best of 5 dito. Ramdam ko na yung game 5. Pero paano kaya matatapos itong game eh. number 3 na to? <laughs> yeah. Maganda yung mga pwesto ng teams right now. Light and Cadenza as well. Medyo malayo si Iacno but same goes for H2. At alam din ni Iacno parang nararamdaman niya. Uy, baka may parang naghihintay sa akin sa lane yun. So hindi na pinush ni Iacno yung lane. H2 backs off and the long teams naghanap lang ng ano. Isang opening dito sa Lord Fight. And Kenji, uh, Oreshi, hindi yan ipapabalik niya. No? Hindi niya ipapapunta si Kenji dyan sa Turtle or sa Lord area na yan. Pag-clear siya ng clear, susubukan niya unahan si Kenji dun sa Lord Fight. Right now, RSG Philippines on over the back of Mr. RV Calderon. That is Aqua. Kita ang kanyang napakalaking hambag this game. Talagang kaya naging even game ta ulit tayo dahil dun sa play na ginawa ni Aqua sa fourth game kanina. But right now, Kenji doing the German Cup pays the price played. for it. Immediate Lord take here for RSG Philippines. Cadenza right. looking for the wild charge and two-man knockup for Reshi. Trying to disrupt. Sino kayo makapasecure ng Lord? Masesecure ni Demon Sky. Wow. Magbumasak na si Kenji. Magbabahid pa sila ng pandandag. Mukhang hindi na. RSG, they secure the Blue Lord. Team turret has been destroyed. What a take by RSG Philippines. So nakita na ni Kenji at nakita nila na, uy, tatlong miyembro nandito. Umalis sila, Donut, si Apetisha, at saka si H2 para ma-pick off si Kenji. Of course, understandable kung bakit nila ginawa yun. But then RSG Philippines found the opening. They rushed the Lord and Demon Kite using the the shadow clones to perfection kasi kung hindi maganda yung pagkwesta ng shadow clones he didn't put that out well baka may chance pa na nakawin ng next play Evo si Turtle na yun great win para sa RSGBH nahuli si Aqua ng split split ngunit wala na rin siyang black shoes pinabagsak na naman ni Oresi ang isang priority target pero squad shadow with a shadow kill ang sagot naman ni Demon Kai he's gonna fall down here we go two people already down for next play Evo sa sunod na nga ata si Cadenza three people down for next play and RSG Philippines evens out the kill score my god a series of plays from RSG blue team turret has been destroyed oh man na split yung damage ng shadow kill Pero yung saktong last two or three hits na punta kay Yelly Hayes, kay Apple Pisha, 
And of course, at the end of the last hit, Demon Kite, napa-basic attack lang niya. Don si Yelly Hayes. Unfortunate. Uh, yun yung naging damage split. But now, RST Philippines, back-to-back -back big wins across the map. At sila na ang may control sa laro na to. Uh, and we could see that in the gold as well. Lamang na sila ng more than 3,000 gold for our, uh, against Next Play Evos. And now, Cadenza still trying to make a play for NXPE. Delikado na to, no? Kasi alam naman natin, Saber early to mid-game talaga. By late game, medyo mahihirapan ng makahanap ng opportunities. And now, RSG Philippines fully aware. In fact, ang ganda nung ginawa nila kanina, yung German cut to a uh, Lord take. RSG oh. Philippines suddenly ahead. 43 seconds pang mag-spawn yung Lord. Hindi naman gaano kalaki din ang lead ng RSG Philippines. So, para sa next play EVOS, very doable. Mga comeback sila. But target prioritization at positioning, yun yung ano, problema nila. Eh. Alam, as long as Aqua and Iacno watch their positioning, it will always end up being a trade. Most likely. Pero, things like that, yung ginawa ni Donut, na force out yung black sheet, pero mabilis-bilis din naman yung cooldown na yan, bago mag-teamfight, will be a big help for NXPE. And kita rin natin no, yung impact na nawawala kapag nakakapitas si Oreshi. Kanina napitas niya si Demon Kite. At kanina rin naman napitas din niya si Aqua. So Oreshi definitely mm. playing really well this game. But, yes. this, but next play Evos is still struggling. RSG Philippines is playing the macro game quite well. Yep. The split push coming in from Kenji. Forcing reactions by one or ngayon, dalawang miembro ng NXPE. So, RC Philippines, I think nakita nila na dalawang miembro dun. Pero, dahan-dahan muna sa Lord. Hindi pa nila pwede rush to. Just in case, ready sila mag-reset. Lord, half, no, three-fourths HP. I-reset lang nila ng pa konti konti Now, Cadenza forcing out the Lord reset. Mata dito kay uh, Uranus na talagang si magiging... Malaking hat lang sa next play Evos. Divine Glaive, binuuna dito ni Aqua. Although, alternatively, yung mga sinabi ko kanina for, R for NXPE, yes, it's hard for target priority. It will end up being a trade. RSG Philippines, dapat mag-ingat sila sa pang setup capability ng next play Evos. They have two big frontliners. Kung hindi sila mag-ingat, baka ma-setupan sila. Oh no, Aqua forced out the black shoes. Napaaga napa ata. Ito na si Oreshi. Nahuli. Huli si Aqua. Wow. Si Mabalik niya sa kamatayan. Oh. And NXP, you know, look at the damage. Oh, oh look at no, the stuns. In the back line, Red it's one na gana. Pero mamagsak na nga si Flint with the Brody. And there you go with slain. the counterplay. The Kagura H2 Apple Pisha still alive. Life and Genji will be the men for RSG Philippines. At the Apple Pisha na nga ang sunod. Oh. LA is goes down. Oreshi at Cadenza na lamang na titira si Demon Kite makakalayo with the Quad Shadow that is a 3 for 2 trade-off na lamang ang RSG Philippines Blue Team Turret has been destroyed dalawang frontliners na next play Evos dahil sa ginawa nila walang Lord para sa RSG PH pero sila ang naiwan dito but that was a good call for NXPE they focused the backline na wala kagad si Aqua Iaknu was caught off guard at Demon Kite hindi nakapag-focus sa Lord at susubukan ulit dito ni Ureshi and Cadenza they're doing everything they can to stop this pero malayo-layo pa si H2 hindi pa nakaka-respond Sino kaya makakapag-secure nito? May makikita ba tayong Merak and Steel? Malayo pa si H2 Demon Kite timing is retribution and there you go Lord is over oh. for RSG Philippines si Ureshi ay nakahulin naman ng isa Kenji boy pa rin going with the region from this Uranus light might just be in trouble Gar Guarded Bulwark still alive pero immortality is pop and that's ba and there you go pagsak na nga rin Cadenza with another good play next play Evos and they do survive that pero RSG Philippines meron silang Lord Oh, yung tanong dito, ano pa makukuha ng RSGPH? Hindi ata makakapag-charge. Oh, hindi makakatama yung Lord dun sa mid lane. Turret ng NXP Evos. By the way, that's two team fights now. Back to back. Maganda yung mga Numinon Blast. Binabato ni Light. Of course, yung team fight kanina. Yung unang team fight para sa Lord na yon. Light landing a crucial three-man Numinon Blast with the Flicker. Or 
wala ata flicker siya nung panahon niya. I think natama, natama lang niya talaga yung Luminon Blast. Kung hindi yung natama ni Light, it probably wouldn't have been as big as a win. Pero dahil doon, nasecure ng RSC Philippines yung free kill. So right now, yung mga tanks, mga frontliners, ang dalawang teams, making a lot of great plays for their squads. Si Kenji, usually not in the team fight pero yung mga split push na ginagawa niya, nagdadagdag ng pressure sa mapa kontra sa next play EVOS. Yeah. RSG next play EVOS, game number 3. Even ang ating kill score pero lamang ng 5,000 ang RSG Philippines. We are already entering the late game kung saan dapat may counting kalamangan ang RSG Philippines dahil sa kanilang composition. Hindi naman ibig sabihin nito ay walang chance sa ang next play EVOS dahil meron pa rin tayong Flint na nasa kamay oh. ni Mario Stan on o oh, aka Donut. Oh, kanina nga nagbato lang siya ng isang enhanced basic attack. 1200 halos ang bawas Ooh. ngayon ng enhanced basic attack sa isang Uranus by the way. So, sobrang sakit na din ng ano, ng Clint na to. Kung hindi magiging ang RSG Philippines if he can land the full on quick draw combo na juggle niya yung mga basic attacks niya. Sobrang sakit at sobrang bilis patutunan ang mga miyembro ng RSG Philippines. Now, RSG, they're holding on to their mid lane outer tier turret. Surprisingly, hindi pa rin ito napapabagsak ng next play EVOS. Meanwhile, for next play EVOS, no, talagang inhibitor turrets na lang ang natitira para sa kanila. Naghanap sila ng mga pick-offs considering na meron silang kalakasan sa paghanap ng pick-offs. Ngunit mahirap talagang makahanap. Uranus ang kanilang nakasalubong. Kaya ba nilang tapusin to Kenji, with the immortality oh. and the consecration, i-region lang niya. Parang wala lang nangyari. And Ureshi is now in the back line. Light, nag-abang ng Numinum Blast oh, na ulit si H2. H2, he wants to try to escape. Makakatakas pa dito si H2. Nasa harapan niya si Kenji. Then he's going to go. Oh, 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 oh. Hayabusa na nga yung sunod. It's a one for one trade-off for now. Pero si Donut, makakatakas pa nga. Makaka-flicker pa. Makaka-dash pa ng palayo. In the back line talaga si Orishi. Nakalimutan na natin. Isang malaking problema para sa RSG Philippines. Nagawa ang bumagat sa kanya. Apple Speech with a hinyang overtime play. Killing spree para sa Grok the Benza a lethal position 5 and now Kenji and Light will be the ones na tatakas at mabubuhay para sa RSG Philippines Ginabi na na next play Evos kay Oresi Oresi, ito lang trabaho mo sa backline ka lang hanapin mo lang si Demon Jet iyak to ama kung sino man at dahil sa mga ginagawa ni Oresi mauubos ata ang RSG Philippines dito Immortality Surf Up low na ang HP Shutdown para kay Donut, Mario Stan, apat na tao. It is light against the world. Demon Kaiser is alive. Five seconds on Aqua. Can the miracle play happen for RC Philippines? The cancel! Yung Numinon Blast! They're going for the base. Shadow King with the winning. Let's play Evos. Six, game number three. What a game. What a series. We are seeing the best of the best. Coming out of next play Evo sa tang RSG Philippines, an unexpected turnaround play, but it was a counter punish. Well, a counter punish to the attempt at the counter punish. Parang counter counteran counteran eh. Isipin mo pag nasa boxing ring ka, yung mga heavyweight na ano, hindi na sila na hindi sila nagguard, hindi sila nagbablak. Suntukan na lang. Haymaker kung haymaker haymaker na lang yun ano. Tinetrade nila. 